FLM, wide open thinking, world-class work, and far-reaching results. Now with locations in Minneapolis, Columbus, Indianapolis, and Washington, D.C. A strategic marketing and communications company dedicated to serving clients who specialize in the business of agriculture and the life of rural communities. Rob Korf, president of the Missouri Corn Growers Association, Thanks for joining us on AgriPulse Leaders Forum. You're welcome, sir. You live in a part of the state of Missouri that has seen a lot of weather extremes in the last two years. Tell us a little bit about how that's been impacting Missouri farmers. Well, Missouri is you know, a pretty unique state compared to other parts of the Midwest with the Missouri River cutting across the middle of the state and the Mississippi on the, on the eastern side. And you know, in 2011, we had record levels of water, especially on the Missouri River. And a lot of levees failed, and you know, hundreds of thousands of acres of cropland were lost and damaged due to flooding. And then you fast forward one year to 2012, where we didn't get any rain. We had record heat, and, and went from a devastating flood to a devastating drought for a large number of acres in the state. And it's it's put the agriculture economy at a disadvantage in Missouri. And it really brings the spotlight on risk management and how important it is to to help mitigate some of the losses on issues you can't control. And let's talk about risk management for a little bit. Crop insurance obviously played a very big role, especially for some growers. Mm-hmm. I know put seeds in the ground and never saw even germination take yeah. place. So you had a lot of very large losses in different parts of Missouri. Tell us about how crop insurance has helped get growers back in the game for 2013. So crop insurance is, is a very valuable tool that some, most people will take advantage of. Personally, I've had I've been buying crop insurance since 1994 after I experienced the 93 flood, and in 2012 was the first year I ever had a significant claim on that policy. But thank goodness I had it. It'd be very difficult to come back and farm in 2013 without that that revenue from the insurance policy. It also underscores the importance of having a new farm bill with not only crop insurance being continued but some commodity programs. Talk to us a little bit about your concerns on trying to get a new farm bill passed. Well, one of the biggest issues with you know, not having a, a permanent farm bill and just an extension is we're not, we can't plan ahead. We don't know what the rules of the game will be as far as you know, crop insurance and what part will play in that and a lot of the other programs you know, besides conservation. Uh, the biggest one facing us is the export arena. If we have a, a large crop this year and the weather you know, allows us to have that, exports are going to be very important in keeping moving our commodity you know, to foreign countries and, and getting a better price for it on the demand side. And programs through the Foreign Ag Service that you know, use marketing and, and reach out to our foreign buyers is crucial. And you know, through the U.S. Grains Council leveraging our checkoff dollars with you know, government uh, funded programs for export, you know, without the farm bill those dollars won't be there and there's just a lot of uncertainty going forward and, and people are we're almost afraid of raising the big crop as we are having a short crop. Tell us what other issues, in addition to some of those that we've already talked about, are really at the top of your radar screen. Uh, you know, besides the farm bill, it's important we get that done, get a, a comprehensive five-year farm bill we can all depend on. Uh, the renewable fuel standard has been crucial for rural America. It's opened up you know, half a million jobs, they estimate, in rural America and been great for local economies and, and put, uh, brought a lot of people back into agriculture that were leaving that sector of our economy. It's the one big bright spot we've had, not to mention is giving the consumers a clean, renewable fuel and lowering the cost. You know, and keeping that, all that money here at home and send, instead of sending it out of country. It's been a win-win, even though a lot of our uh, advocates come out against it and spread a lot of half-truths about it. It's been a great, a great uh, deal for rural America and uh, agriculture. And uh, there's a lot of people like to see that go away and, re- and not have that program. It's crucial we defend the RFS and and keep it. It's a good program and it needs to be expanded on. Thanks, Rob, very much for joining us on AgriPulse. You're welcome.